All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Continuing on my Conference USA previews for the 2015 college football season. For this blog, I'm here to talk about the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee. Now, Middle Tennessee went six and six overall last season, but they did not make it to bowl contention. And this is going to be an interesting year for head coach Rick Stahl still because he is entering his tenth season, and he's trying to get this team back into bowl contention. But it starts things off with their quarterback in Austin Grammer. Last season, he did pass for over 2,400 yards, 17 touchdown passes, and 12 picks. He just needs to lower that um, interception ratio just a little bit. I think he could be have it in due for a decent season. Now, his top weapon offensively that he could really depend on is running back Shane Tucker, who had 486 yards on the ground and also 351 yards uh, in, through the air as a receiver, which shows that he could be a good pass-catching pass catching running back. Now, as far as the defense, they have a huge, strong safety and Kevin Bayard, who was first team all honors last season in Conference USA play. He has 64 tackles to go along with six interceptions. And they do have another key player who was second team all honors and JT Barber and, and, and TT Barber, and he actually registered 72 tackles and two interceptions. Now, as far as the recruiting process, they did a pretty interesting job in collecting players outside of the state. Their top three players is actually from the state of Georgia. Starting off from Augusta, Georgia and running back Ruber Garnett. He's a decent player and they picked up a kicker from Buford, Georgia and Matt Bonadise and lastly from Hutchin, Georgia and offensive guard Josh Fannin. They did a pretty decent job going outside of the state to recruit some some decent players and what they could pick up outside. Now, as far as their record this year and my prediction, I think they're going to have another 6-6 six and six season, possibly make it to a bowl matchup, but we will see. It's going to be a tough year this year because looking at their schedule, I do see them getting at least five wins, but I think they're probably going to have to stretch for a sixth or a seventh win to get to bowl um, eligibility, but we will see. It's going to be very interesting. I have to go 50-50 on this one and go six and six overall. Now the next I'm gonna catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes. I have seven more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man Keen McCall. Be easy.